So in our previous example, uh, we got a steam economy of 0.73 kilogram evaporated per kilogram of fresh steam used. Is that good? Can we do better? Uh, can we do better? Well, uh, one way we can do better is to preheat the feed. Uh, because the feed now came in at the temperature below the boiling point. If we increase the temperature of the feed, the steam inside uh, the evaporator only needs to be used to evaporate, not to heat. Uh, so, uh, and one way to preheat the feed is to use the outflow L, uh, because that is warm, right? So we can use that as at least uh, as part of the preheating. Uh, we can also reduce the vapor produced, uh, and there are two different uh, ways of doing that. One is through steam compression, which basically means that you improve the quality of the steam produced. And you can do that by add either thermal compression or mechanical steam compression, and we will have a separate video on that. The other way to do it is to use the vapor produced to drive another evaporator to have a multi-effect evaporator. Okay, but let's look at the pre, uh, preheating of the feed. Uh, so we take the same example as we did before and see what happens with the steam economy if the feed is preheated to 100 degrees centigrade instead. Well, what is new now is that we have a new enthalpy of the feed, which is 100 times 4.19, so 419, rather than our old 159. And we put that into our equation and we get a new steam. Uh, and V divided by S, uh, sorry, there's an S missing there. V divided by S becomes 0 0.99 kilogram of evaporator per kilogram of steam. So that's uh, way better. And the area also becomes different. So we get a better steam economy and a smaller required area. And steam is a high quality energy. So it's likely a lot cheaper to preheat the feed and save the steam uh, inside uh, the evaporator. Now, is this 0 0.99 kilogram of evaporated uh, per kilogram of fresh steam used, is that good? Yeah, it is actually. If you think of it, the energy needed to evaporate something, that's the evaporation enthalpy, right? And the energy that the steam uh, releases to the feed side, that's also the evaporation enthalpy. And that's approximately the same value, right? On, on the steam side and on the feed side. So a rule of thumb is that a steam economy of one, that's as good as you can get approximately. Uh, now there is a side story to this, uh, and I recommend you to look up in a steam table, what happens with evaporation enthalpy as the pressure increases? It's not constant. But that's, uh, that's a bit advanced uh, when we think of this. So just uh, the most important thing is to remember, remember the rule of thumb that the steam economy for a single unit uh, evaporator can as best be approximately one one kilogram of evaporated per kilogram of fresh steam. And when I say fresh steam, fresh steam means that we have created this steam in a boiler of some kind. Uh, it's not the secondary steam that we create in the evaporator that we can use in another evaporator and so on. So fresh steam is the steam we have created uh, in a boiler.